Drop a like on this video within five seconds or NBA 2K21 is going to look like NBA Live 07. I wouldn't risk it. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Badge Plug. And today, welcome to the last top 10 best builds in NBA 2K20, the most overpowered builds in the game. So we are about seven months into NBA 2K20 now, meaning we're most likely not going to get another patch in this game or at least a patch that's going to change the gameplay very much. So we're playing the final version of 2K20. That's why I'm calling this the last top 10 best builds because nothing is going to change most likely from where we're at right now so if you've seen my last top three best builds it's actually not the same top three as it was i changed it around a little bit i've been doing hours and hours of thinking for this list guys so all i want you to do i'm going to be doing a giveaway okay for the first time in a while on my youtube channel all you have to do is drop a like on this video Watch the whole video, and then at the end, comment down below and tell me what you think are the best builds in NBA 2K20. All right, guys, drop a like, and let's get straight into this. So my number 10 best build in the game is the playmaking shot creator. Now, this build was much higher when the, first, when the game first came out because you could do the fadeaway threes very efficiently, and then 2K patched that pretty quickly. So this build can speed boost and it will usually it can speed boost depending on how you make it in this video i'm going to be talking about the best version of the build usually okay guys i want you guys to understand that but this build has a very high three-pointer and it can speed boost usually doesn't have a lot of defense doesn't have any finishing so the reason why it's not going to be higher on the list is because you guys are going to see as the game has progressed we have found an even better build that can basically do the exact same thing and also can finish in the lane and depending on how you make it has a good amount of defensive badges now remember if your build is not in this video it doesn't mean that it's trash this is the most overpowered builds video in 2k meaning you're going to be able to make this build and go to the park and it doesn't really matter what lineup you're running you're still going to be able to dominate on the build there's lots of builds in this game that are very good but when paired with another build they're much much better so that's what this whole point of the video is is that you're going to be able to make a build and just dominate right away so if you guys want me to make a video showing exactly how to make every one of these builds at the best way possible get this to 10,000 likes and i will do it for you all right so the number nine best build in nba 2k20 most overpowered is the play making stretch duke dennis recently made this build uh, i think grinding df made the build it is very very good it's like a power forward build center depending on how you make it it can speed boost and take over now like i've told you guys for a few months now as long as you have the tier two dribble moves you don't need to be able to speed boost if you guys go watch duke dennis i'm sure most of you do you know grinding df stuff like that they are able to dominate without having to speed boost and then the speed boosting is just the icing on the cake for the build because you can go you know you're even faster and stuff than you were so anyway that build very very good but it's usually a little bit better and would be higher on the list with a certain build or certain builds that you could run with it so my number eight best build in nba 2k20 most overpowered is the rebounding wing this build you can make so many different versions you can get contact dunks you can have hall of fame badges and you can shoot threes efficiently in this game so any build in this game where you're going to be able to contact dunk because that's like my favorite most important thing about any build pretty much is contact dunks and you're able to shoot threes efficiently and have hall of fame badges is definitely a very good build now if i was making the best builds in the game not just best you know most overpowered the rebounding wing would actually be a little bit higher because i believe the build is so good and there's so many different variations of the build also if you guys want to go watch stumpy stumpy xt i'm not sure if he changed his name when he joined the clan but he is a very great lockdown youtuber he's got multiple builds that's very similar to this build so you guys go check him out if you want to you know look more into that build so anyway number seven best most overpowered build in the game and you guys that have seen my top three most overpowered videos you're gonna know what this one is the tall speed boosting offense minded wing so you can go back on my channel and watch the jason tatum video that i did that is this build it's a six foot nine build the badges are very all around you get like 10 in each category and being six foot nine you're able to body people and bully on both sides of the ball when you're running at the one plus you get a good amount of defensive badges and you can speed boost without having to have a teammate that has like hall of fame floor general like the 610 build that i showed you guys that can actually speed boost so this build very 
good it just takes a little bit more skill than most builds to actually dominate there's a lot of builds in this game that are very good but if you don't have a good amount of skill it's not going to be as good like in street fighter games or something how there's these characters that are great but unless you're like an expert at the game it's not going to be nearly as good as it should be so anyway the number six best build in the game is the glass cleaning lockdown the build that can shoot hall of fame shooting badges and have hall of fame defensive badges excellent glass cleaning build you can run it at the two i mean sorry you can run it playing twos you can run it playing threes does not matter excellent center build i know you centers are watching this video like okay is he ever going to talk about a center trust me there's going to be another one in this video also i love the glass cleaning lockdown ran with a bunch of them this year very excellent build the fifth top five best build in nba 2k20 is the bp offensive threat and that's not me not badge plug bp the 2k e-league pro-am player he you know he made this build famous popular whatever that's why they call it the bp build it has hall of fame finishing badges and hall of fame shooting badges that is why the playmaking shot creator is not higher on the list because the bp offensive threat build is basically the same exact thing with two categories of hall of fame badges and is only a few points lower in the three point rating now remember guys just because i'm not showing you how to make the build which like i said i will easily do that for you it's going to be like a 30 minute video if you guys do get this video to 10,000 likes i'm going to show you how to make every single one of these builds the best way possible even though i'm not showing you them all you have to do is search up on youtube for example bp offensive threat build and you're gonna find a tutorial on it right away not saying it's gonna be the best version of it like i said i will make the best version of it for you guys every single time i'll make a video every single one of these builds best version possible but if you guys just want to go look it up right now go search up quill he has a very good offensive threat tutorial his his uh, youtube name is q u i l quill very excellent offensive threat bp anyway the number four best build in nba 2k20 most overpowered is the joe knows facilitating finisher great youtuber great content and on top of everything great build he made a build at the beginning of the year that so many people doubted and i've been talking about all year you know because people looked at it and they said oh low three-point rating trash you know it's not going to be able to do anything very excellent build all around great badges has some of the most badges in the game actually gets like 61 62 63 upgrades depending on how you make it but as you guys will see while we're getting higher into these rankings all these builds are going to be very efficient at finishing in the paint because that is the most overpowered thing to do this year is finish at the rim because you know paint defense is not that good most builds in this game cannot guard someone in the paint especially with the baseline collision system it's all broken blah 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 but anyway i love to show you know love to these youtubers whether or not they show it back i just want you guys to understand that that's how the 2k community should be so i'm always going to be shouting out the best builds for every youtuber so you guys can go check them out and stuff joe knows excellent facilitating finisher so the third best build in the game is the pure slasher build now the reason why i have this higher than joe knows build if you want to make joe knows build and you play threes then the facilitating finisher is better but on the one court the 1v1 or the twos the pure slasher is an absolute dominator okay you got like 95 driving dunk when you're in takeover 99 and it's just almost impossible to stop slashers in this game there's a very few amount of builds in this game that can contain slashers and you see how i'm saying contain because 2k the way this game is even if you have hall of fame defensive badges and 99 paint defense if you're playing against a good pure slasher it's going to be extremely hard to stop them and a lot of it is just 2k's animation so that's why the slasher is so high because if you come up against someone who is very good on a slasher you're most likely not going to be able to stop them at all and they're just going to absolutely dominate you you're not even going to get a chance to touch the ball anyway so the second best build in the game is the two-way slashing playmaker i told you guys this was different than my top three last time because i had this at number one or the slashing playmaker now the two-way slashing playmaker i told you guys before we were talking about how some builds are better depending on your skill the two-way slashing playmaker is the best version of the slashing playmaker i told you guys i started out the year most of you guys know with the slashing play and then as the year went on we figured out that you can shoot with low three-point rating builds so if you can't shoot with a low three-point rating build you want to go with the slashing playmaker but if you are more experienced on the game you're definitely wanting wanting to go with the two-way slashing playmaker because you have contact dunks 
and you have Hall of Fame defensive badges. It's basically the same exact build, just a lower three point rating and you get the Hall of Fame defensive badges. So there's no reason to go with the slashing play if you know how to shoot in this game. So my number one most overpowered build in the game, I've showed you guys only twice this year. So you probably have missed it. It is the paint defender slash stretch big build. As you guys can see, this build has an 84 post hook, 99 post fade and a 70 nine three-pointer by far the most overpowered broken build in the game because if you guys don't know post scoring is the most overpowered thing in the game we've talked about how the paint defense how the best builds in the game are going to be builds that can score efficiently in the paint well the post score is right there and on top of everything if you guys didn't notice the build has a 79 three-pointer so if you have hot spots and stuff you're gonna be splashing you can play on the ones court you can dominate you can play on the twos dominate threes court same exact thing now if you were to play 1v1 court i would obviously go with a more pure post score that way you can just you know post hooks all day whatever but as you guys see on that build it is ridiculously just it doesn't even make sense it's basically just like the two-way slashing playmaker but in a post score because you're looking at the build and the two-way slashing playmaker you're thinking as long as you know how to shoot obviously you're thinking how does this build have any disadvantages like literally every build should have a disadvantage right but neither of those builds have one because as long as you know how to shoot you're completely fine it does everything now the only thing it kind of lacks in is a little bit of defense you still you know get a good amount of defensive badges just not hall of fame but this is the most overpowered builds video and on any court ones or twos especially you just can't lose like if you know how to use a post score you're just gonna be bullying people all day and on top of everything they're gonna look at your build and say oh paint defender all right so you're gonna get two to three threes a game off just people thinking that you know you're just gonna be sitting there post hooking and stuff and while you're doing the post hooks and all that if you run out to the three-point line and you shoot a three they're gonna leave you wide open so you've got a few buckets every single game that's why i have it at the number one most overpowered build in the game it's just ridiculously op guys i'm gonna be giving away 50 dollars psn or xbox i'm not sure if i mentioned that in the beginning of the video to whoever wins and i'm also gonna ask you guys obviously to show me that you like the video as proof because it literally takes two seconds man just drop a like for me you don't even have to hit that subscribe button if you're new i don't want fake subscribers but if you guys are subs man enter in the giveaway even if you're not entering the giveaway but don't hit that subscribe button just for the giveaway okay it's your boy bash plug you have been plugged in make sure all you have to do drop a like and comment down below what you think are the best builds in nba 2k20 it's your boy bash plug you've been plugged in and i'm out peace